yeah, it like makes makes no sense. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I have another totally yeah, question. More about um, kind of the business side of things. I'm curious, just with what's going on in the book industry yeah. in general, how have um, sales been in terms of like electronic books versus the physical right. and what drove the decision to come out with the paperback? Okay, great, great or question. Hear, sorry, yeah. So as you, most of you probably know, the whole world of publishing is cha changing drastically. Like whatever I say tonight will be different tomorrow. Uh, it feels that way. I mean, it's just so quickly that it's happening, and the publishers are like scrambling to keep up because they don't know. Is that your feeling that it's that's the way it is? It's really bizarre. So, um, in fact, one of the first emails that I got from Random House was to say we're amazed by how many ebooks you're selling, um, and I'm surprised that they're amazed. Right? Like, isn't isn't that what they should expect at this point? I think the numbers are almost up to 50 percent. Um, is that right? Do we know. Well, in January overall, I think they also. I I am not. Yeah. I'm so bad at numbers; they go in my one ear and out the other. But I know that it's changing so quickly, um, and unfortunately, who that that's hurting the most are independent bookstores. So we should do everything we possibly can to support independent bookstores. People now come into independent bookstores look around, check out their books, and then order on their iPhones, which sucks. I mean, let's give them the support, not, not uh, Amazon. Um, but in terms of publishing, it works for the publisher and for writers as well. Um, so I don't know the exact numbers right now, but the, the numbers of, of e-books that are selling is, is um, growing so rapidly that certainly if it's not yet 50%, it will be, and it will probably pass. Um, regular for your books. specific book, I, I think in general, and certainly with fiction, I think that that will happen. Um, the the decision to make it a, a paperback was a real surprise. About five months ago, I can't remember when that happened, but it was well after the book had been bought to be made into a hard to come out first as a hardback, and I got a phone call from my agent saying I've got very strange news or something, uh, something difficult to talk about with you. And I was like, oh my god, the, the publisher just went under and they're not going to publish my book. Um, and it turned out that someone very high up at Random, Ballantyne is an imprint of Random House, someone very high up at Random House read the book and um, absolutely loved it and said, let's make this a breakout hit and let's figure out how we can make this a big bestseller. And one way to do that is to come out as a, with a trade paperback and um, blast it out of the water right, right away. And um, my agent and I were a little unsure. First of all, as a writer, I love that hard back, <laughs> right? And uh, also, we don't make as much money on royalties from paperback to hardback, so we were kind of, huh, oh, I'm not so sure. And when they told us, you know, how much they were behind <laughs> it and what their plan was, we couldn't, we were just so happy that they were saying, we love this so much that we're going to do such big things with it. And then, interestingly, it was booksellers who started weighing in and saying, we love trade paperbacks, that it is, it's much easier to sell trade paperbacks than it is hardbacks. Um, one of my Random House people, I just did a East Coast pre-publication tour that was with booksellers, and one of the marketing people was with me, and she said her guess is that a year from now, there will no, no longer be hardback fiction. That it will, fiction will only come out in paperback. Uh, and in Europe, fiction only comes out in paperback. Um, so she thinks that the whole market will change in that way. Um, and what I was worried about, I mean, I'm just no longer worried about it. I'm as happy as can be about <laughs> this, right? Um, and I, if it is the wave of the future, let it, let it be. But I, I knew that if they're saying, Give us a chance to see that if we can make this a bestseller. It's like, don't argue with that. Go with it. Do it. Um, so that it was a very odd moment and a little scary, but thrilling in the end.